Have you heard we're experiencing a national blood shortage? Well, with this blood shortage being such a major health issue, it potentially affects so many. What can be done and what should be done about it? Dr. Glenn Ramsey, chair of the College of American Pathologists Transfusion Committee, is joining us now with more. Thanks very much for having me. Generally speaking, you should be at least 16 years of age, be at least 110 pounds, and be feeling well and healthy on the day you come in. You'll be asked questions about your safety to donate and for yourself and whether it's safe for others to receive your blood. There have been some deferral rules changed lately. Some of the uh, travel restrictions and infection risk exposures have been changed from 12 month wait to a three month wait. And if you were in Europe for an extended period of time and were told once upon a time that you couldn't donate, now you probably can. So there have been some changes that are important to know about. Someone needs blood in the United States every two seconds but only about 3% of the eligible population actually donates. Also, some of our blood products are uh, have a very short shelf life of only a few days. So it's very important to have a constant uh, supply of blood to meet the uh, needs of our patients. Most people remember the Las Vegas shooting from five years ago, where more than 500 units of blood were needed in the first few hours after the shooting. This is an example of where blood was necessary uh, to be ready uh, on the shelf uh, and ready to go when the patient needed it. Uh, and uh, so it's a, it's a lesson to us that the blood supply needs to be maintained at all times because we never know what's going to happen. Some people need transfusions on a one-time basis because of surgery or an accident or childbirth uh, bleeding. Other patients need an ongoing series of transfusions because they're going through cancer treatments or they have a blood disease like sickle cell disease where they need to be transfused on a, on a lifelong basis, even in some cases. So there are a lot of different situations where we patients need blood and that uh, we're looking for blood donors to help us uh, treat those patients. You can contact your local blood supplier uh, through their uh, phone lines or their website to uh, find out where you can donate uh, and when. Or if you're not sure where you can donate, you can go to aabb.org and find a blood donor locator page to look up uh, where you can donate and find more information about uh, when you're uh, able to donate. 